Konnichiwa guys, PX Cam here back in with a brand new video. We are here for a brand new week of daily races as we are racing around one of the craziest tracks that GT Sport has thrown at us in a long time and that is around Tokyo Expressway, the East Inner Loop. So if you guys don't know about this track, just think about it as just one long straight with a whole mess of curvy roads and fast sweeping corners that leads to many many penalties and a lot of crazy action so we're gonna jump right into it before we jump into the video if you guys really enjoy the content please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video as it really helps out the channel when you guys do so anyways that is enough promoting myself let's jump straight into this race jump into the race now we get our three two one as we are starting off in sixth place Starting in the middle of the pack because I just unfortunately could not get a qualifying lap string together and so the best time that I was able to get was only good enough for a 6 on this lobby so it's a little bit scary because we are in the middle of the pack and turn number 1 is just a ramp fest and it's really really shocking how many times people get taken out here as you'll see throughout the video but for the first time going into it nothing actually happens as everyone gets through it without any incidents and somehow we were able to hold off our 6th place position coming out of turn number 2 and everybody lived to continue racing as uh, we are now heading into uh, the second sector so went to sector number 2 as we are right behind Sikkim a couple of contact is happening right ahead of us as Sikkim runs straight into the wall we have to take a little bit of evasive action to avoid making contact with his rear because if you make contact with the rear on somebody on this race, you're just asking for a two second penalty. And if GT Sport really wants to be an ass, then they can give you a three second penalty. So just be on the lookout for that when you're doing this race. But as we come into this straight, leading us into this quick left hander, you can see that the Brazilian gets a one second penalty. But not only that, one of the cars actually gets killed, goes straight into the barrier, gets pinched out. And we are able to gain two positions there as we just somehow miraculously we're able to navigate our way through there without making contact with anybody as we now get another position here a free one due to the penalty so from six to third in one lap i'll take it we are now in the slipstream of shona in second place as we move on to the left hand side the mclaren is the op car on this race so that's why you see everybody using it it just has such great uh top end speed and so with that if you pick any other car um, Except for maybe the GT or the GTR, it's very, very difficult to um, keep up with these McLarens. You can see now as we go into turn number one, we split it three wide. And uh, going into the replay, you can see that one of the cars just goes onto the outside, misses his braking point completely, goes straight into the cones. And luckily, he was on our outside instead of behind us because that could have easily led us into the shadow room. But we're able to just lose one position here and we go back into third place like I said I'd rather take that than getting sent to the shadow realm and uh, we're just gonna have to kind of stay patient here we still have two laps left to try to work our way up to the uh, lead here and uh, we should be able to just use the slipstream of second place to just keep us as close as we can to first place so on to the end of lap number two. We're heading into the final two corners as uh, we're getting a good run on Shona. Break very, very early so we avoid running to the back of him. But he just goes a little bit wide. Keep it onto the inside. And uh, this is a good overtaking spot for us as we're able to get a great run off of that final corner. Down the straight for the second time. We uh, lead up right in front and Shona decides to come right behind us as uh, it looks like he's trying to bump draft us. But last minute he decides to go to the left hand side and uh, we get a good little bump from Sikkim so Sikkim got the game plan right there as you can see I'm flashing my lights in thanks and uh, he flashed his lights back at me to say you're welcome but you can see he's bump drafting me down the straight we get a great run on Shiki Banky go on to the right hand side double wide going into turn number one we try to break as late as we can but you can see that Shiki Banky actually breaks a little bit later than us and he accidentally pushes out Sikkim with him as he misses his breaking point and we are able to now get our first place away from him so it took three laps but we stayed patient and now we are promoted into first place as we head into turn number three so on this third corner unfortunately I wasn't defending really well and I decided to let Shiki Banky go through but in doing so I opened the door for the other two guys right behind us to just get around us easily and now from first to fourth in literally 10 seconds we just have to follow these guys right up ahead again and see if we can stay in the slipstream navigate our way to first 
and hopefully we can get a win here with one and probably a quarter lap to go. So on to this final corner once again. We're just following these guys, staying right behind third places. They make a little bit of contact. We actually go to the wall as well, so they just kind of follow them there. But we're just going to stay in the slip shame using their toe. And uh, you can see how much of a top end speed we're getting as we make a little bit of contact with Shona to give him a bump draft. Gets a great run here as we go three wide for first place. It's now a four card battle for the win. And as we're going three wide here for first now, you can see we're on the outside and my game plan here is to break as late as it can. Can we make it work as we break right after the 150 meter board? You can see we missed our first apex but we're able to hold off a really good miles per hour on the outside and keep the speed going and we are able to complete the overtake on the outside as we have jump into the replay I just have to see it twice look at this on the outside here we break as late as we can and those guys probably thought that I missed my breaking point but you can see that we were able to keep the speed on the outside and just get a great run on the exit and now we are re-promoted back into first place almost the exact same time that we were the lap prior so in first place here we're heading to turn number three and I decide to keep it onto the middle of the track because I didn't want to risk losing the first place I learned my lesson from the lap prior you can see what's happening now right behind us as they go double wide make a little bit of contact and that gives us a really great gap from us to second place as we now head into the final two corners so going into here it's a little bit scary because I'm seeing them make a little bit of contact with the wall as one of the cars gets pushed up from behind in second place and that just makes us get a bigger cap from second place here as we come out of the final corner you can see right behind us one of them gets a two second penalty for sending the other car into the shadow realm but as we head down the straight we only need about maybe 500 yards away from the start finish line you can see they're catching up to us really quick but they're just gonna run out of time and we're able to cross the start finish line with a win here so miraculously not sure how we did it but we were able to get from six to first can we repeat that good luck here on our second race Jumping into our second race now, we are starting in fourth place as we decided to leap over the pond, go over to the Europeans, and see if we can do this masterful class of racing here in Europe. So, starting off in fourth place, the lap time that I did have still wasn't that good, but uh, it was good enough to get us into fourth. So, we're up by two positions than the race prior. So, what can we do here as we head into turn number one? On to turn number one and turn number two. Again, everybody gets there really cleanly, which I'm just very, very shocked about because it seems like on the first lap, everyone could get through turn number one very cleanly and without any incidents. But like on the second, third, even on the final lap, nobody could get through it without making any contact or missing a breaking point. Maybe it's just they're a little bit more aware on the very first lap. But anyways, going into the final part of lap number one, third place goes straight into the wall, misses a breaking point. And we just had nowhere to go as we try to evade him, but we just ran straight into him. And because of that, we get a two-second penalty. So, luckily, everybody else behind us had a penalty as well. It's just very annoying that we got that two-second penalty because I just really had nowhere to go. As we jump into turn number one, you can see right here that the Frenchman right behind us decided to use a car right ahead of him as a brake. And uh, he forces him out wide. Gets a four second penalty now instead of a one and a half second penalty that he had prior. And uh, we're all going to have to serve it here now as we head down to the penalty zone. So, onto the penalty zone. You can see literally five cars right behind us all had to serve penalties. And uh, somehow we were able to retain our third place position as uh, fourth is really close to us now as he's all over our rear bumper. But going down the straight, it's a little bit scary as you can see six cars, or I think either six or five cars right behind us. And they all have slipstreams, so I'm literally leading this train here. I don't think they're going to work with me. And you can see that Moomin decides to go to the left-hand side. He says, yeah, I'm going to overtake you, and I'm not going to help you out here. As he also brings along Fox right behind him. So three-car battle for fourth place here, as uh, or third place here, as a couple more cars are coming up right behind. As you can see on the map, one of them gets pinched out into the wall. And we get a great run here off of uh, Fox as we go into the slipstream of him. We're going to go back into the inside, try to break as late as we can. And it looks like our plan worked here as we're side by side with Fox for third place. Try to get a better exit. We're able to do so, but still side by side as he's got the left hand side. 
one of us is gonna have to give going into turn number three because side by side into this fast right and fast left usually never works I'm not gonna back out he decides he's not gonna back out so we decide we're just gonna do it side by side but I should let him get it there as he got a better exit than us and he falls in line right ahead of us so on to lap number three we're gonna cross the start finish line to go to the final lap as nothing really happened um, throughout the rest of lap number two and the whole entirety of lap number three we're staying right behind third place of Fox as we're heading down the straight and we get a great run using the slipstream we can see right here we move, make a move onto the inside he blocks but then we go to the outside and he makes a double move we have to break early we get hit from behind and now we are sent into the cones right there as we get pushed out even further wide from Fox as he missed his breaking point. And uh, now we are demoted back into fifth place as he's flashing his lights in frustration. So, not sure if that was aimed towards me. Like I said, I, I went to the inside. I tried to sell him a dummy. He took the inside, defended his inside. But then we went to the outside. He decided to go to the left hand side. And just chaos ensued as we lose our third place position. We're stuck right behind Fox. Luckily, third place does have a one second penalty, so once they cross the penalty zone, me and Fox should be close enough to get around third place, unless if third just finds some extra couple of tents here and is able to pull away even more here as we're just falling right behind Fox. So just being very, very patient here. I know we're going to hit the penalty um, zone soon, and we just stay right behind him here, staying in the slipstream. See, we're getting closer and closer. What's going to happen here as we hit the penalty zone? We go through here. You can see that he serves his penalty as we go into the final two corners. We accidentally miss our breaking point and make a little bit of contact with Fox. And because of that contact, we get a two second penalty. So we get bumped out on the first corner of this lap. The guy behind us gets only one second penalty. We uh, accidentally make contact with Fox. He didn't even make contact with the wall. He actually it didn't even look like it hurt him too much. And we get a two second penalty. So that's kind of was our luck on this race. We didn't have the benefit of really good luck like we did on the first race. But we do get overtaken by fourth place. The only thing I'm focusing on now is how close is sixth place. As you can see, he's 2.065 seconds away. But as we cross the start finish line, we somehow are able to hold off that fifth place. And uh, just barely, just by only three tenths of a second away from sixth place. So not the race that we were looking for we were trying to shoot for a win here but just too many things happened a lot of variables that were out of my control and some that were in my control like the final corner but uh just couldn't make any magic happen here and we come home with the fifth place so really enjoying this race it's a really interesting one causes a lot of chaos especially when it gets towards the middle part of the race and uh, when you're also starting off in the middle in the back, it can get really, really hectic back there as well. So let me know how you guys are doing around here. If you guys are enjoying it as well, comment that all in the comments down below. And if you guys really enjoyed what you guys saw, since you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, please feel free to subscribe and leave a like on the video as it really helps out the channel when you guys do so. And if you guys want to follow me on the Twitches or on Instagram, all that is in the description down below so you can find those links there and again if you guys found this video very entertaining i hope to see you guys on the next one peace out